Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the King of a newsroom on this Friday afternoon. Shenandoah officials say it's too soon to tell whether the heavy snowfall this month will alleviate the city's water woes. Stage four water conservation is still in effect in the community. City officials issued a number of H2O saving tips this week, including checking toilets for running water and other steps. Up to 13 inches of snow fell in the community from last week's bookend snowstorms, followed by another inch or so of white stuff last night. But City Water Superintendent Tim Martin told us that even with the snow, the city's water situation hasn't changed. And one of the biggest concerns is that continued stage four rationing would jeopardize the Wilson Aquatic Center's 2024 season. Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen expressed concerns over a lack of moisture's possible impact on the pool in a recent interview on KMA's Morning Line program. It seems odd that here we are in January talking about what we're going to do in uh, in May or June, you know, on, on the pool. But uh, we, we most definitely want the pool open. We, we you know, we want that to the, the, everybody to be able to use the pool and have it. Uh, and so uh, it's one of those things that we're just going to constantly have to start uh, watching. And like I say, hopefully we'll get some moisture and by March or April we'll, we'll be out of this situation. In the meantime, Sydney officials are formulating a plan to acquire additional snow removal help in case of significant snow events. During a special meeting Wednesday, the Sydney City Council unanimously approved developing and establishing a call list of snow emergency removal help for the city. Council and Mayor Pro Tem Justin Shirley says the council requested proposals on snow removal help in the fall, but received no bids. Iowa 4th District Congressman Randy Feenstra is expressing mixed emotions over a bill avoiding a government shutdown. By a 314-108 vote Thursday, the U.S. House approved a short-term stopgap spending measure to keep the federal government operating through March. It's the third such stopgap bill approved by Congress in four months. Feenstra talked about the bill on KMA's Morning Line program this morning. And some Shenandoah High School students are looking to bridge a generational gap in this community. Now, the young lady on the right is Shenandoah High School senior Summer Mayher. On the left is Shenandoah High instructor Jennifer Chapa. Together, the two have launched a Shenandoah High School Glamour Gals Club. The chapter's mission is to forge international relationships, or intergenerational relationships, rather, with elderly residents through manicures and general conversation. Mayor says at least seven girls have expressed interest in the club, and she's hoping to have at least ten members. The Glamour Gals' first meeting is next Thursday. KMA on track weather. Chance of flurries this afternoon, partly sunny and cold. High 5 to 10 above. Wind chill values minus 20. Tonight, partly cloudy, low of around minus 20. Wind chill values as low as minus 30. Wind chill advisories and warnings are in effect for most of KMA Land. More news online at KMALand.com. I'm Mike Peterson. Have a great rest of your Friday. So long, my friend, and stay warm.